All right, I'm going to be talking about using Design Master spray paint on nylon and some basic painting techniques. You can see some of the projects behind me uh, that are done in a fade. So this is the original color of the fabric, and this is just some red paint that's been put on air. And so I'll demonstrate how that's done. Uh, Design Master, I've been using it for about 30 years now. It comes in 50 colors plus uh, metallics. Uh, it's an ultra fine mist. Uh, it's quick drying, costs about six to $12 a can at uh, craft stores or floral supply shops. Uh, and one can will last for many, many projects. Um, when it's empty, it is recyclable. Uh, let's talk a little bit about safety precaution. It contains acetone and isobutyl acetate plus uh, some other nasty chemicals. So don't breathe in the vapor, the gas, the mist, the spray. And the best way to avoid that is spraying outside. One of the problems with spraying outside, though, is, is you always get a breeze that comes through. If you're spraying on uh, brighter color fabrics, insects like it, dust and dirt land on it. So I spray inside a garage with a, a fan, and I wear a, a, a dual element respirator with replaceable organic cartridges on it. Uh, so this is just one of the cartridges. And then these are called pre-filters. So a pre-filter just catches the big particles and uh, the cartridges catch the vapors. And so this is just one of the uh, pre-filters that I've cut open. So you can kind of see the big particles that it catches. This is the stuff that would also be going into your lungs. So I do recommend a respirator. Uh, well, well, one of the other things is when I'm finished with the uh, respirator is to extend the life of the cartridges, I put it inside a plastic bag and seal it up. And that's so moisture doesn't get into these cartridges and diminish their life. Um, so let's talk about getting set up. I spray on a four by eight sheet of uh, MDF board, eighth inch uh, board that's mounted vertically um, against a wall. And then there's a fan up above that. And uh, I use blue painter's tape to hold the fabric down. So just painter's tape. Um, because we have problems with static out here where I live, and I use a rag. This is just a dish rag, something that doesn't have lint that's been dampened down to wipe the fabric. And you'll see that to wipe the fabric, wipe any fingerprints off of it, uh, any dust or hair. Um, even though it's quick drying, I use a uh, heat gun, a hair dryer would also work, uh, to just speed up the drying process. And you can tell when it's dry when it's no longer shiny. So when the paint goes from a shine to a dull, it's pretty much dry. It's very, very quick. Okay, and I think we'll just go uh, out into the garage now and uh, I'll just set up there. I probably won't wear the respirator because I want to be talking while I'm painting. And uh, so I'll just have to hold my breath. All right, so this is the painting area that I've been using for nearly 30 years now on the same board. And up there's the uh, window with the fan. I'm not going to have the fan on. And there's some of the cans there. And so we'll just get set up, and I'll just do a real quick demo. All right, so let's get started here. The well, first thing we're going to do is wipe the board down with a damp cloth. And that's just to get any overspray off of it. So you can see some of that there. And just using the blue painter's tape. Find a clean spot on the rag and just wipe this down. That's just to get any dust off of it. Now again, normally I'd have my respirator on. I'd have the fan uh, going, but we're just going to... Do a quick demo here. So I'm going to start uh, doing a fade technique. I'll start at the bottom and I'll start off the edge of the fabric and then stop at the other side. Don't stop in the middle. Um, just keep your arm moving and then I tip the can back and that helps give it a little bit of fade to the top so not as much paint is going onto the fabric. So here we go. Just a quick shake. Get the can back, get it a little dry. So that would be one light coat, so we just put another one on. Now 
Okay, now we're going to switch over to fuchsia. Again, same thing. Just quick shake, start off the edge, keep your arm moving. Pull it back, fade. And I can tell when it's dry because it's not shiny anymore, so it dries really quick. I'm just going to highlight again with some orange. Okay, so that's basic fade technique. Just done on some white. And if you want to see some more advanced techniques like uh, the crinkle fabric or soap resist, those kind of things, I can show that. So that's just basic uh, fade technique using Design Master.